Hey guys, welcome to Unit 3, um, Lesson 2, Day 2. So we just have a little bit more that we're going to talk about for this lesson. And um, first of all, I want you to pause this and read over um, this word problem here. Okay, so there's a lot going on. Um, the first thing I want you to see is that there is a small gear and a large gear. And so um, it says that the gears like drive each other. So the small gear drives the larger one. Okay, so what does it give us? It gives us the radius of the small one and the radius of the larger gear. And it also gives us a degree measurement. And it wants to know how many degrees the larger gear will rotate. Okay, this is an S equal R theta program or problem because it's going to talk about like how much the outside is being turned. So this is S equals R theta. So I'm just going to fill in what I have. So the radius of the small one is 3.6 inches. And the radius of the large one is 5.4 inches. Um, theta is 150 on the small one and we don't know that's what we're trying to find theta on the big one. Okay so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. Um, what also you need to know is my angles are going to be different because 150 on here, think about that, is not going to be 150 here. It's going to be like a shorter amount. Um, but the S's are going to be equal. So the arc length, it's going to cover the same amount out here as it's going to be in here. So if I'm, my drawing looks like this. So, um, so let's say like I went um, 3.6 inches here and it's 150. Well, I'm going to go 3.6 inches on this side. So those S's are going to be the same. So let's start here. S equals R theta, but see I can't use 150, so I'm going to change it, and it ends up being about 2.618, and my multiples together to get 9.42. So remember, the S for the small is equal to the S for the large. So I'm going to say 9.42 equals 5.4 theta. So I'm just going to divide both sides by 5.4 and I get theta equals 1.745. But let's let's go ahead and answer the question. How many degrees will the larger gear rotate? Well, anytime you go into a problem or you come out with a problem, it's always going to be in radians. So we need to multiply this. Um, oops. Um, we need to multiply this by 180 divided by pi to get the angle measurement. And it should be, if you type this in your calculator, it should be about 100 degrees. Okay, so um, this one is very similar. I want you to go ahead and try it, and I will um, show my work. So it'd be nice if I showed you a picture. So um, this is a picture that we're dealing with. So go ahead and um, figure out. It's very similar to the first problem. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so I showed my work here. Um, notice that it gives us um, the radius of the small one and the radius of the larger one. So that one was pretty easy. Um, I went ahead and transferred 135 to radians. And um, it asks through how many degrees. And so just be aware of that, that I will ask you for that. And that is it, guys.